qualifying prep rounds are done, race is up. Yeah, no, it seems pretty good. I um, always honestly struggled here. So uh, the last lap of the second practice, I went P7, which uh, isn't bad for me, honestly. Not not great, but not bad. And, uh, yeah, ready to race. Any big changes between first and second? Uh, we just changed some gearing. We got a new a new spec and uh, been kind of playing with it a little bit. And uh, yeah, we just made a little gearing change. Other than that, I haven't really touched much uh, since I want to say high point. Okay. What are you working on specifically during the week? Because I feel like you're, you're coming around. Every week you see a little more movement, a little more aggression. Like you're you're one of the guys, you know, it's, it's not, uh, it's more consistent now. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, just, uh, I don't know, I guess maturity, okay. uh, being at more races and kind of just learning, you know, uh, learn myself and just kind of, yeah, I would say just mature, maturing and, and knowing kind of what to do a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's a big deal. A lot of, we've, I've talked about this on my show a million times, like, when you first come in as a rookie, the first couple of years, there's so much to take in. Oh, yeah. And so much expectations out of you guys, it's really not fair. I feel like rookies like yourself need a three year deal. Like, yeah. A hundred percent, and I think there's like an actual uh, statistic out there that's like the third year is always the best year. So, you know, that's me next year, so hopefully that, that is true. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's just, I'd say the whole, like the whole event, you know what I mean? It's, it's not that you have pressure, really, because the teams are pretty good when, you, you know, you're a rookie, but just the pressure with yourself, the new, new, it's just new, everything's new, sure. really, so. I think that's a big difference. Um, let me ask you about last weekend. There was a little drama of you yep. and Hunter. You know, obviously we didn't get to see the video of what actually happened, but it sounds like you admitted to, hey, I made a mistake, I came over. Yep. But with his reaction, you were like, yeah, okay, I'm not. Right. But you did go try to apologize, though. And yeah, yeah, just... yeah. No, 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 100%. I, I owned up to it yeah. everywhere. I've owned up to it, and uh, it was a mistake on my part. You know, I mean, I it's, as much as you want to be perfect on a sand track, it's pretty hard, you know? And, sure. and yeah, I didn't see him, hear him, or nothing. And, and yeah, my fault, 100%. And yeah, I, in the moto, I thought it was Michael Mosman, and I was going to apologize, and then, you know, ended up being Hunter, obviously. And uh, yeah, I, I, I was going to apologize, but uh, obviously. Uh, heat of the moment. Yeah, heat of the moment, typical player. But uh, yeah. All good now, though. We're ready to race today. New day. Yep, ready to race. Awesome, man. Thanks, Al. Never. No Second round of qualifying's over. Indeed. Time to go racing. Hopefully, How are you yeah. yeah, I know. Hopefully, it's just you're, the, the you're borderline. I, haven't I don't in. think so. I think that one was a lot better. I dropped my time by like four seconds. I oh, went from two nineteen to two fifteen. Uh, a lot better for me, but yeah, P twenty six. There's still another session that that's going out, and there's some fast local guys. So you never know. But I'm don't thinking there's gonna be nine people that go that much faster right. than me. So we'll see. It just it sucks. It's like a, an intense moment where you just gotta sit there and watch the screen. How are we looking? Good. All right, they're going a little slower. Right, like so feeling see. good. Feeling good. Yeah, Hopefully, nice. I don't know. But uh, so yeah, long story short, everything's been good. Um, yeah, we're here in Millville. We've got some great partners on board. We got the collective experience bringing in some people to help. It's our helping hands and whatnot. Uh, we've got Corey here helping out. Uh, it's I'm, on, I'm on a stand. Yeah, you're all good. And uh, you know, insignia here. We got our merch that just dropped. So KevinRands.com. If you guys need any screen printing or anything like that, definitely go check them out. Shirts, hats, all the merch and whatnot. But yeah, other than that. Tank Masters on board for the, the title sponsorship. That's why we're out here racing, keeping the vlog alive. And uh, yeah, racing for the fans, having some fun. Did you make any changes between first and second qualifying? We made a little bit of changes in between the first, like I pulled off and we made some changes. We went a little softer um, because it's just a little bit rigid. Like yeah. it's pillowy out there, but it's really hard base. Yeah, yeah. So we had the scoop on as well. So everything was sliding around a little bit too stiff. So we went a little softer. That helped. I ended up going two seconds after we made that change. Take the scoop off faster. Took the scoop off for the second one. Big difference. Okay. <clears throat> all the all the big boys are leaving the scoop on. Yeah, but it's just it's tough for me to navigate how yeah. slippery it is. Like sure. obviously my bike doesn't handle like theirs. <laughs> but no, good improvements, and we're just gonna keep progressing. Awesome, man. Thanks, Kevin. Yep, appreciate you. Robert D. Millville. How do you like the track this morning after second qualifying? Uh, it got better throughout the day for yeah. sure. The first one was kind of like, I don't know, the soil is different, so I was getting used to it. And uh, the second one I went out and, and trusted my bike and it was a lot better. So uh, I think we'll get better throughout the day, which is which is good, and uh, have a good time. Have you been here before? I haven't. Okay, so, so it was, like it was all new. Uh, big down, I mean, I'm used to big down. It was like I ride Glen Helen every yeah. week, so it's fine. Um, just the dirt is different, like, it's really washy. So like when you get on the brakes hard, it just wants to come out from underneath you. Uh, so it was, just, it was just different, but 
looks good. It, it looks good. I think they took that kicker out at the bottom. Yeah, so cool. around the outside. Yeah, let's kill him in just yeah. a second. Yeah, yeah. We gotta run to the monster. Okay. Thing. I'll let you go, man. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for the night. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, sorry, dog. Hey, so I was watching you pop by, and I want to know why you're coming down Mount Martin so slow. Am I actually coming down slow? Oh. I mean, we're 34th, so yeah. I'm doing something slow. I think it's the rollers, personally, really? but I have no idea. But well, you haven't run any other nationals yet, so like, how are you feeling for the first one? What's it? What you expecting? Today is my fifth day on the motorcycle. Okay, so you um, should be ripping. Ripping, okay. shredding. Uh, should be perfect. Fit as an ox. Sure. Uh, but I mean, we're here, right? Yeah. Um, I believe we're in. Um, so we're just gonna go do laps. Um, I've already warned Steve and JT. About fantasy, yeah. So you are if, they, if, they, if they didn't social it, then blame them, not me. This will go up until afterwards, but I'm, I'm just calling, saying. I'm calling it a lock. A lock. A lock. Oh, 34th in qualifying yes. is a lock. A lock. Out a lock. of 15. Maybe I'm exaggerating a lot. I'm trying, you're, you're my buddy, so I'm trying to be positive. Thanks. No, Appreciate I, it. No, you don't like me. You know, like to give me shit. Lots of stuff. Well, I mean, you walked by me earlier and didn't say hi. If I walked by you and didn't say hi, I did not see you. No. Whatever. I didn't see you and be like, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, whatever. All right. Well, I, yeah. All right, well, you gotta go? Uh, I don't know. I gotta go make sure I don't okay. race the Go make sure you're in and uh, good to see you. All right. Later. It's Alan Hawkins making a pro debut. Millville. Two qualifiers so far. Like, how do you feel about the track? How do you feel about race day and the pro side? Like, what's it been like? Uh, it's been pretty good. A uh, little... A little stressful, um, <laughs> a little not, not very comfy out there, but okay. trying to make the most of it and just go have fun and ride my own race. You're not comfy because of just the dirt or bike setup? It's just, a whole, just the whole thing. It's just a whole different feel. It's yeah. crazy. It's nothing like amateur racing. You come out, all the lines are completely different. <laughs> this track is my first time out here at okay. this track. Uh, so a little nerves there, obviously, racing with the big guys. Um, yeah, so it's just a mix of a lot of things, but I'm feeling good and I'm ready for this race. Just ready to go out there and do my best and have some fun. Do you have fun. any expectations or goals for the day? I mean, whether it be a position or just finishing or whatever? Uh, no expectations, okay. just um, I want to ride like I know how to ride. This, I guess that would be my only expectation. Just ride like I know how to and go out there and keep it fun. Are you going to ride any, race any more before Loretta's? Um, no, no, this is my only one I'm going to okay. do before Loretta's. Hopefully do some after. It just kind of depends on how Loretta's goes, how this goes. Um, no plans as of right now, but yeah. just going to one day at a time. All right, good, man. Uh, well, good luck today. Good luck at Loretta's. And just at least be delete. Oh. Yeah, 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 you got to be delete. Sure, dude. All right, man, good talking to you. Thank you. It's Randy D. Francesco, the fastest of the, the Ds. Well, you know, riders getting there, but not quite. But listen, Ryder's done two pro nationals. You've been around this business a long time in this industry, but the pro ranks are a lot different. Just as a dad, how does it feel? Well, I'll tell you, it's a little easier coming in and doing it the way he's doing it. I, I, I was walking through the paddock earlier, realizing that Ryder's probably the only one so far that has had the, the chance that he's been given. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't think that anybody's been able to have futures and then done uh, Red Bud now here at Millville. Um, and then obviously going to Loretta's from here. So I think the, 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 the opportunity that he's had, that he's given, um, he's, he's taken full advantage of it. Like last week, going down in the first corner of his first pro race. Like yeah. who can talk about that for the rest of his yeah. life, right? Right. Oh, A little yeah. bit too much front break, but came and from- And then pulled a holy. Yeah, he, but I think it was great. You know, uh, 38 to 14th, right? He said he got to see a lot of those guys. Then the next one, Got a great start, pulled the whole shot, and ran up front. So he got to feel like the top 20 guys out, you know, the 20 guys that he passed earlier and then running with the top 15 guys. It was a great experience. Yeah, I know you and mom are, you know, it's it's scary, right? Your kids out there and it's, you've been, like I said, you've been around this long time, but it never gets, it never feels safe. Never gets easier. Yeah. No, I, 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 somebody told me a while back it just gets harder, and I'm yeah. like, oh, for a rider? He's like, no, for everybody, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I can believe that. Uh, you know, like I say, in a great spot with what he's able to do, to where the pressure isn't so much, um, and it will take a lot of the pressure off whenever it does come time. Right. So whenever he does get his, let's say his pro card, right, and he hits the first one at Paula or Hangtown, wherever it will be. Obviously, with what we've been going through over the last few weeks and getting to do the last four after Loretta's, and obviously it's going to be a much easier, it's going to be much easier on the whole family. 
Yeah, awesome. Give me your predictions for Ryder today. Today. You know, this track's tough. It's it something is. that no, I, I, I had no idea by watching on television how, how technical the track is and how different the track is from one side of the track to the other. You got the sun landing on one side of the mountain and you have a, a other side of the mountain that doesn't see sun. Right. So it changes the texture of the track. This year they didn't dig it as deep as they usually do. Um, paddles were great for the first practice, then he went back out with his knobby for this last practice. And I'm more concerned about the start. So I think if he gets a great start, he can run up front. If you get stuck in the pack here, I don't expect anything but just riding in that spot. Okay. So expectations, good start, have fun. Perfect, that's what I like to hear. All right, Randy, thanks so much, man. And uh, wait, still Speedway Racing, how's that going? Because it looks like you're doing more of it. Yeah, I'm able to do more of it. Ryder and Lisa both are like, you know, they're enjoying me doing it. Before it was like too much to do all of it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I had a guy come to me and offered me a ride, so I couldn't really pass it up. That's awesome. Um, great guy. Uh, he's a multi-time national champ, so he's got his business together. I'm on good equipment. Um, you know, the last race I was 32 years older than anybody in the race that I was in, you know? So, oh, wow. but I got to look at like, oh, wow, these guys are really good, but I got the experience, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I'm having a lot of fun. Riders having a lot of fun helping me in the pit. So I think it takes away from just always doing our moto and doing everything that we do to get right to where we are. So now I'm able to pull back and do some of that. And then ultimately is like over the years of telling Ryder, hey man, you need to run it in a little bit deeper. You need to get the bike up on the top of the tire. Let's do some of these things to where now he's like, oh yeah, you know, maybe I should listen to my old man. <laughs> or before he kind of <laughs> gave me know, some grief. Yeah. yeah, so I think I've been doing uh, more and more and I'm gonna keep doing it all season since I have that ride. And uh, we'll see what happens at the Nationals. Awesome, well good for you, man. It's great talking to you as always. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Ty Masterpool, get ready for uh, Moto One out here at Millville. Dude, you've been ripping all the rounds you've been at, but how difficult is it to stay consistent when you're doing stuff on your own and you really you don't have all the support you really need? Yeah, it's very hard. I mean, just simple things. I mean, as you can tell, just uh, trying to get to each round is the biggest thing. We're yeah. paying out of a rental car and all that. But uh, not nah, so good today. I think qualified uh, P6 and stuff, but. Uh, no, it's going good. Shout out to my brother for being my mechanic and uh, not a family program right here, but uh, yeah, just doing the best I can do with the cards I'm dealt with. Yeah, how do you feel about uh, not racing and wrenching instead? Uh, it's been good. I thought, yeah. it was, I thought it was gonna be harder uh, going to the gate and not racing. Yeah. But uh, no, it's been good. Okay. And uh, you know, it's, it's for a good cause and uh, it, uh, you know, it feels good. You know, if I didn't feel like if I didn't have the capability of doing it, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Know, so. yeah. No, it feels good, and uh, we've been doing good, and uh, with the, the cards that got us, we're doing, uh, we're beating some, uh, yeah, we're doing good. Some really good riders, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a lot of support. Yeah, I think I read that you bought that bike used, right? Yeah, I yeah. think the bike has like 40 hours on it right now, or 38, 38 hours on yeah. it. <laughs> so yeah, we just uh, freshened up the motor, threw on uh, his old suspension, guy <laughs> dialed up for me, but uh, no, nah, it's doing good, uh, feeling good, just doing the best I can with the cards I've dealt with. Yeah, have you noticed any, like, have people been reaching out trying to figure out ways to get you support, or is it still kind of... Yeah, we're, at, we're actually supposed to have uh, graphics for this round, but uh, they didn't show up in time. I mean, it's so hard to get yeah. everything going mid-season. You only have a couple days in between sure. races, so that's just the biggest thing, and it's like everyone already has their budget set, you know what I mean, six months ago, so it's hard throwing everything together last minute, but no, it's going good, and uh, yeah, having this racing, just great people come together to yeah. get me to race the race, and that's the biggest thing. Awesome, well, yeah, like, uh, in case you need any more pressure, you are on my fantasy team. I, I got you. So <laughs> let's get it done, but uh, man, thanks so much, and good luck today. Nah, thank you guys. Have a good I've seen you ride, like we talked earlier, right, just off the record, like it's progressing, it's progressing, but I haven't been at very many of these, so that there was so much aggression, and like you can just see the progression coming from you, it's awesome. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, got a good start today, um, that helped a lot, and uh, really just felt good today. Um, made some changes with the bike, made it, made it work better for me, and uh, I think ultimately that scoop tire really helped me that first moto. So you stuck with it the whole day? No, oh, no, okay, no, just the first just moto. The okay. First moto. okay. <laughs> Getting to yeah. the point where I wish I would have did it for that second moto. Really? Um, yeah, I feel like that would have helped me off the start because they just teal it deep. And, yeah. Uh, it was still wet enough and, and sandy enough to work on the track, but um, besides that, I was this close to a podium finish in a moto. Today. I know, yeah. 
So. But uh, that means it's just that much closer. Yeah. And uh, I'm just more hungry now. I can just barely taste it off the tip <laughs> of my like tongue. It. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got got a little more work to do. I mean, those top three dudes are super strong. Yeah. And fast. I mean, Joe's absolutely sending it those last few laps. Yeah, he tracked you down about midway, and like you could just he just had he was going to the front. He was the fastest guy for yeah. sure on the track for the time. Right. And I did, did the best defense I possibly could, and uh, yeah, he just barely got me. But yeah. it's a little unfortunate. I really wanted that podium, but I'm just more hungry now. So. That's good. I like that. Yeah, that just means you're going to go after it even harder now. Is there anything you're changing with the bike anymore? Or are you pretty much running what you have and just kind of? Because I know if you start changing the bike, then you it may throw off the other stuff. Yeah, we found a, we had a good setting at, at uh, High Point. It yeah, felt really good there. Like I, I don't know, just everything was feeling right there. And then uh, the next round, I, I felt completely off. And, uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Just way uncomfortable, but but Southwick we did a shock change and uh, that really made the bike more consistent, more solid feel. Um, still not something that is dead perfect, like like everyone wants it, but you never sure. get a bike perfect. No. Uh, maybe only a few lucky times. You yeah, so yeah, at least right. I got something that I feel consistent on that I can go to multiple places with the same setting and be good. Um, but the team has been working on the, the bike a little bit to making it faster. Yeah. I made a, a step with the motor. Um, that really helped at Southwick. And, and, and Southwick's sandy, so it's kind of hard to tell, but here you could definitely notice it. Yeah, yeah, definitely notice the difference with the uphills and the start. Awesome, dude. I'm proud of you, though. That was really cool to watch, so good job. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. All right, so I just gotta ask, man. I know you love your brother. We talk about your brother all the time, all that crap. But like, at some point, you gotta be like, I'm gonna punch this dude. Like, let's get some No, 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 not really. I mean, he's just is. Does he not deserve to win? Yes, but you know, like, you know? I'm racing my buddies. That's all I care about is beating my buddies. You know? For sure, but it's, it's different on the track. It's it's not like that. You know, like it's it's only ever on the Gulf Coast. You met, you're like, okay. oh man, fuck this guy. Like he's talking yeah. talking crap about how he's winning, blah blah. Blah, but like in the moment like we're very supportive of each other because I'm doing my best and he knows he's doing his best he after the first motor he's like the first thing he said was like dude that was fucked like those lappers you know because like deep down you can't you know you can't lie to yourself so yeah. I mean when you know when he wins the second motor I'm, I'm like dude beat me straight up what what is there to be angry about mad at him for you know mad. you know like he I'm dude just didn't didn't do what I put myself in the position and stuff and um, yeah so it's not nothing against him or anything no. like that you know so I just mean more for the friendly rally <laughs> and like I want to beat my brother for sure so bad. for sure I absolutely but at the same time if if I had to lose I'd rather lose to him than yeah. any anyone else on the field sure. you know because it it's like. I don't know, it's just it's my blood. Yeah, you're proud of him, I get it. I'm I proud of him, dude. I'm proud of him. It's what we created. You're just in a you're sense. my Lawrence brother, though, man. So I, I know, get that way. 96, like, oh, number one in your heart, man. That's yeah, what I like, to, like to feel it's, like. You know, we have the tool line, so yeah. Exactly. Like, exactly. It makes the end, man. Um, what do you think about that? It's going to be here before we know it. Yeah. You represent your country again. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you guys That's might the plan. Be the favorites. I hope we are the favorites. You know, I think me and, me and Jed are doing really well, and, yeah. and obviously, like, it'll. it'll I'm not sure whether it'll be Mitch Evans on HRC in Europe or Jed Beaton. So it'll be I'm almost sure it'll it'll be between them two. Um, it's just you know, so it should be good. Uh, I think we're in with a really good chance this year. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. What do you? Season will be over before we know it. Um, what are you gonna do as soon as it's over? Like, do you have something planned? You gonna go back trip somewhere? Yeah. No, not not. It's after nations. I have something okay. planned. Yeah, but you something you're looking forward to. Yeah, golf trip. Okay, golf trip. Has the, the, the wife feels good about that. Yeah, she's she's not gonna come. She didn't want to go. She said no. I'm not. Enough travel. She's good. She'll have some of her friends come over and stuff. And so she's doing her things. I'll do my things. It's more just to kind of get away and, yeah. and just unplug from from this life we live. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Well, cool, man. I'll let you get to Thank you. chaos. Brandon, Millville's over. Uh, we're a little over halfway through the series. Yeah. I think you got right around the top 10 today. Yeah. How did you feel out there? Track looks seemed pretty good. Uh, honestly, this is one of my favorite tracks. I don't, just the jump layouts, like, track's super gnarly. There's no doubt in that. And then uh, the, the rollers are, are badass. So they do an awesome job here every year. But it was a good day. Um, felt much better. We actually put a different engine package this weekend. Back down a little bit, right? No, we actually went we're back. back up? Yeah. So. 
it, it, it benefited this weekend, okay. so I'm glad we did it. But uh, definitely much better weekend for me. I rode yeah. from just from lap one of first practice to the last lap of today. It was it was better. So um, I want to be in the top ten. I mean, today I might have got top ten overall. We're not sure yet, but uh, I tried looking, but the AMA hadn't posted everything. Yeah, no. So I have no idea. Like yeah. I was I was out there really trying to do. I was trying to calculate what place I was getting <laughs> overall. But uh, yeah, it's a good day for. I mean, me and Marshall we rode. We tried our best, so that's all we could do. Yeah. So what are your goals for the next few rounds? Just continue to get better. I mean, I, mean, I don't. Do you have a different set cross here? Or are you looking? Uh, well, I prefer. Yeah, pretty much working, working on, on it. But, okay. uh, so yeah. just finish out strong, man. So you yeah, something good. I, I, Supercross obviously went awesome for me. Yeah. But obviously some guys were hurt. And uh, now obviously a bunch of guys are coming back. <laughs> Dude, our class is tough. So yeah. if I could, you know, just be around the top 10, that's awesome for us. Cool, man. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. I was the first national. How you feeling afterwards? I know it didn't go. I went about actually the way you said it was probably gonna go. But I mean, you look good. Yeah, no, it was good. I had fun. I didn't expect a lot. I haven't ridden that much. Yeah. Uh, the last week I had some other stuff going on, so I wasn't able to ride all week this week, which was good stuff, cool stuff. But I just, you know, I'm a fan. I like watching. Want to, want to come ride? Come keep me sharp, keep me in shape. And uh, yeah, so that's that was really all it was. I'm, I was like, if I'm around 15th with motos, I'll be satisfied with that. First moto, just terrible start. I was like, dead last. Yeah, I was watching because you, you're on my team. And I forgot to ride like the first half of the race. I kind of got to remember what to do. Um, it was okay. And then uh, second moto, a little better start. And I was right with the back, like Shane and uh, both Suzuki guys, Amar. Yeah. So about 20 minutes, you know, we were all battling pretty good, all close. So it was good. For, like I said, it's hard to jump in middle middle of the season. I haven't been, it's not like I've been home just training my butt off all the time. Yeah. But those guys, you know, when you race every weekend, like just doing the repetitions, racing, your bike's Intensity. dialed in, you're used to it. Yeah, it's just, it's tough to just jump in and do it, even if I was training a bunch. You know, I've, I've been training, riding, but it's not the same as doing this. And again, the goal is just come have some fun, be here, race, and keep it sharp, keep it in shape. Yeah. You got any others lined out? I know this so, one took a while to put together. Yeah, well, I'll shoot a little next okay. weekend. We're going to do Southwick and Millville, Yeah. and some stuff came up, couldn't do Southwick, so um, now we're going to do next weekend too. So, farthest one, yeah, most expensive one. You, geez. But honestly, yeah. I like it. My dad's never been there before. Oh, that's cool. So it'll be cool. He'll wrench for me next week. Yeah, too, so all right. That'll be fun. That'd be fun. So, yeah, just having some fun at a few races. And uh, yeah, that's it. So there's rumors all over the place. And a lot of people talking about World Supercross. Yep. Do you have any interest? Yeah, for sure. I've, I've talked to quite a few teams, okay. a few offers. Uh, nothing completely done, but looks like I'll be I'll be doing it. Oh, so cool. cool. That's, that's the plan. And, okay. Uh, so have, like I, said, I have it signed, but yeah, but pretty much it's all, all it's leaning that. that way. So yeah, it looks like I'll be doing it. I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, it, for me too. That's I wanted to ride, be in shape, do these, have some fun, and then if you know if I'm doing that, we got to be you know end of August need to be riding super cross. So awesome. I'm gonna do Wash Google. I want to do Buds and Ironman, but if the world stuff happens, then. I might yeah, start training. Exit that. out. Be yeah. ready for that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah. I hope that works out, man. Yeah. Appreciate talking to you. Thanks. Happy to be here. Have fun. All right, thanks, thanks guys. guys.